Since today's painting has a lot of intense yellows, I thought I would talk a little bit about the effects colors have on mood and our emotional state. The use of color psychology is something that has been around for hundreds of years. In ancient cultures, colors were used to treat different conditions and even influence emotions. There was even evidence of its use in spiritual practices. And even though these practices have been around for a long time, there has not been a lot of research in the area of color psychology. So when I talk about the effects colors have on someone's mood, it's somewhat subjective. And even though opinions do vary, there is a general consensus on how certain color ranges can affect us. Colors in the warm spectrum, like red, orange, and yellow, evoke emotions ranging from warmth and comfort to feelings of anger and hostility. Colors on the blue side, however, or the cool colors like blues, purples, and greens are often described as calm, but also bring feelings of sadness and indifference. I think I gravitate toward the feeling of calm when I look at cool colors myself, like a blue sky or when purples emerge from a sunset, or even if I'm walking through a forest, the greens from the trees and the grass make me feel a lot more calm. So I believe that nature really does play a big part in how we perceive color. We grow up playing outside, at least my generation definitely did. So. I think a lot of the visual components in a painting that are pleasing or look pleasing is because they make us think of something in nature. Now there was actually a study where they took 4,000 plus people, they asked the respondents, how do you feel when you look at certain colors? And here's a quick rundown of those colors. So the, the black color was associated with sadness from 51% of the people, red was associated with love, white was associated with relief, blues were associated with relief as well, greens were associated with contentment, yellows and oranges were associated with joy, purples were associated with pleasure, and the browns were, I guess not too surprisingly, were associated with disgust, and finally, pink was associated with love, and maybe that has something to do with Valentine's Day and how we always associate pink and Valentine's Day together. So I would say there is, a, there is definitely a strong correlation between past experiences and how we feel about certain colors. Another aspect of how we relate to colors is how color affects our purchases which can directly impact sales of artwork. Whether people are aware of it or not, your color preferences say a lot about you as a person. From the clothes we wear to the car we drive, it's all making a statement about how we want others to perceive us. The color white will make you feel fresh and clean. Silver is the third most popular car color because it gives a sense of modern innovation. Red is bold and attention-getting, so people who wear this color may want to be noticed a little bit more and look confident. People often describe blue as the color of stability and being trustworthy. Gray is actually suggested to be used by people that don't want to stand out that much. Now, taking this all into account, it would seem fair to say that if you only use certain colors over and over again, you might be restricting the type of people that want to purchase your artwork. But how about we take this a step further? Because I believe it's the organization of colors, how dark or light it is, the saturation or the chroma that is more important than just simply is it yellow, is it blue, green, red, whatever the color might be. My work, for instance, is very psychological. I'm constantly playing with different intensities of color and how those strong colors play along with more subtle earthy colors. This painting, for instance, has a very strong yellow in use, possibly the most intense yellow I've ever put into a painting. Does it make me feel joy like the survey concluded? Well, I don't 
think it's that easy when you're dealing with a portrait. The strong yellows can help create a positive energy for the painting, but when creating any painting, you have to consider a lot of other factors, like I mentioned. How much yellow did I use? By the end of this painting, I would say maybe 20% of the surface has a very intense yellow or orange. So you could say it's about 20% joyful, right? But there is also about 20% that is very dark or black, which is associated with sadness. The other 60% is a mix of earthier colors and white. Now isolating these facts about this painting, you would come to the conclusion that it's a fairly complex mix of emotional states. The final factor in all of this, though, is the subject herself. Her eyes are closed. Does that make you feel a certain way? Is she even aware of the color yellow that has latched itself onto her? Is it affecting her thoughts? Is she accepting or denying the color's influence on her? That's up for you to decide the viewer, but you will certainly take the color yellow into account when you're looking at this artwork. So what does this all mean? I believe the effects that color have on someone has a lot to do with context. Most of us have a color relationship that is based on the colors of nature because nature is a big part of our lives. If you grew up in a small town in Iowa, like myself, you will feel right at home with blues and greens because that is what you would see a lot of while being outside for a good part of the day. If you love flowers, you will always have a positive emotion around colors like reds and purples and pinks and yellows because there's so many flowers that have those colors. This should all be considered when attempting to create a powerful painting, but you also have to consider the context. If the whole painting is packed with every single primary color at full strength, does that make for a more exciting painting? What if the painting is just black and white? but effectively uses tonal composition and contrast properly. I'm willing to bet a well-executed black and white painting will be more compelling than a painting with every color in the rainbow used to its max. What I'm saying here is it's all about balance. Color compositions are endless, and this painting with its strong use of yellows is just one in a million ways to use such a beautiful color. Now I'm curious to hear how this painting makes you feel. Does the yellow create joyous feelings? Would you prefer to see a different color? Do you think colors affect your mood? Feel free to share with me in the comments all your thoughts on color. Now I do plan on discussing this extensively in the future, either through my Patreon account or YouTube videos, because it is such a fun subject to talk about. So thank you again for watching and I will see you again next week.